Hello guys, DJ Parsi and I'm back with another video of the World Championship and we are now in stage 4 of a total of 8. So this is the last uh, group stage. We have another, or we have again 40 players here and only some of them will make it to the next group. Um, we have 80 games still, so I still won't be able to cover all of them. So we're gonna miss a lot of the great games that are gonna be played, but I'm hoping that I can catch as many as possible and show them to you guys here. Um, and with 40 players, I'm not going to go through the list of all of them. You can see them here on the screen. Um, next round, when there's then only 16 left, I believe, uh, then we can look, take a look at each one individually who has made it that far. Uh, but for now, we just have to assume that all of these are really, really good at this point. Some of them we know, some of them not so much yet, but maybe we will get to know them a little bit more. And with that we get into our first game of stage 4 and there's one player that we all know very very well. And of course I'm talking about Lao Huang, the most experienced player in TDA and uh, also one of the best. He uh, won the last uh, Cooper Turner Cup if I remember correctly. Uh, and yeah, so much experience from this guy, he knows uh, how to play this game, that's for sure. And his opponent is Desi, a player I don't know too much about. Uh, but he has proven himself in three rounds already. Uh, I, I think it's very safe to assume that none of these players are here just because of luck. If you manage to survive uh, three very hard group stages, uh, you know what you're doing, definitely. So uh, this will be, of course, as all the games should be, an interesting match. Uh, we can take a look at the Leaders and Wonders here. We see that there is uh, Acropolis Library for the Wonders. We have Joan of Arc, Nobach, with Barbarossa. But no good H. A wonder for him. We have Zeshka, uh, Great Wall, some MAs, or quite a lot of MAs actually from the leaders, and then also Kremlin. We have the Ocean Liner, there is Marlene, there is uh, Pierre, we also have Shakespeare, there's Hollywood, so it could be a big Hollywood. Alright, so let's see what Lao Wang does. He grabs just the Engineering Genius, uh, pretty standard move, I would say. Alternatively, I would also be fine with Library at this. At this point of uh, the game, how much I have played it, I think the difference isn't that big of getting Engineering Genius or a really good Wonder. Uh, so I would have been fine with both. Uh, the Acropolis will come out, so Lawang maybe is going to go for that later. He could also go for Stonehenge here. Stonehenge does have some synergies with Hammurabi because you have extra civil actions. Um, so the four civil actions of the Stonehenge don't, uh, don't matter as much. But very interestingly, he doesn't build a mine here. I really wonder why. Why does he not build a mine? That is usually always the standard move if you can, or a, an urban, or use an urban growth and build the philosophy. But it does really make. Uh, it's interesting. Lawang sometimes does play different than uh, than you would expect. So I'm going to be really interested to see how he plays. I remember that in the Cubitur Cup. Uh, he played. He made some really weird moves, but he's, he made it to the finals and won them, so it's hard questioning those. It's just really interesting to see a new perspective from a player who definitely knows what he's doing, but has some different priorities than me personally. Uh, okay, so Desi will go for Boudica, which is another interesting move. Uh, I probably would have gone for Procrates, or even Caesar to pressure, but uh, okay, he goes for Boudica. We'll build that mine, so standard move from him. Are we gonna see double HA wonders from La One? That would be really interesting. So development of warfare is opened by him, and then he can't finish the Stone Edge and grabs the Acropolis. I like this game already. I like where this game is going immediately. How often do you see that that someone grabs Stonehenge, which is a four-stage HA wonder? And then he can also grab another one. Like usually you sometimes see maybe with the pyramids or the Acropolis where you have extra civil actions, but Stonehenge first and then Acropolis as well. I think that's the first time I've seen something like this. He can't get the engineering genius for that. He would have liked it, I'm sure. <clears throat> Desi will also get the free warrior. He will show his fighting bat and go for Isabella from uh, from uh, Boudica he is taking one science, so now he's extra rock production. Also interesting that he likes Isabella enough, maybe he has already drawn a colony, so she will be worth extra, but he has to pay two civil actions for her. Uh, and then probably engineering genius here as well, yeah. 
that to build one stage of that library misses out on the printing press, maybe doesn't like it as much. Lawang does. <clears throat> he grabs the printing press, grabs irrigation, and a breakthrough. Yeah, just grab a couple of cards. He will finally build that extra mine and increase pop. So he has a lot of extra science now, 10 science. And with a breakthrough, even more. So uh, yeah, he can definitely not build the philosophy right now. Wait until he gets printing presses. There is Shakespeare after all, um, and Gaudi. So some extra synergies. He just has to find a way to spend that extra science uh, in some good way. So Desi will finish the library. Increase pop to get out of corruption and grab another card, the Brennan Circuses. Uh, yeah, we see Pierre, we see Gaudi. Besides that, there's not too much too much synergy. But uh, yeah, with Gaudi and Pierre here, um, he doesn't get the same Pete's here. He would have had corruption to take it, so happy faces will be an issue at some point for him. Brand circus are fine to do that, um, especially with Pierre being there in the end. So Lawang will go for that printing press, build one. Okay, so John of Arc as well. John of Arc over Zishka. There, you don't see that too often, especially if you don't have the free religion. That is also really interesting. Lawang. And Desi as well. I mean, Desi went for early Isabella, but he has shown the tactic. He has shown the fighting band, so Lawan could just go for Zishka and copy the tactic. Immediately get strength and culture production from that. Um, so I probably would have gone for Zishka without the free religion, with him wanting to go for printing presses and having a happy face from the Stonehenge. It's not like Lawan needs to build two religions at some point. And if he doesn't get one for free, John of Arc won't be quite as good. So that is another interesting move that I don't really... Yeah, personally, I mean, I don't want to this early on say that I disagree with the place, but it's definitely not what I would have done. Of course, depending a little bit on the uh, on the events that he has drawn, we don't know what those were. But here, Zizka for me just seems stronger with the tactical read already being revealed and all. But we will find out how it works out for Lawang. But first, Desi will open the development of trade routes. Then he goes for irrigation. Yeah, get the food as well. Develop that. Increase pop and build one to get out of corruption. Yeah, build one. Um, yeah, it works quite nicely with the bread and circuses. So if you go for three farms, you will have a lot of food and you will have a lot of population, but you need happy faces for those. Bread and circus are a very cheap way as far as resources go, especially to get happy faces. Um, so I, I like that combo. He also has extra rocks from Isabella, so he has everything he needs for now. Science isn't great, but two science is enough for now. And then, especially if he gets these cheap techs like Brand Circus for his happy faces. Um, yeah, so I like where his game is at the moment. It's still pretty early, too early to tell. We don't know if there are colonies where you can utilize Isabella some more. But he definitely has a good start. Same for Lawang. I mean, now even better with the free religion that he can take. Even better. And he's looking uh, like he's... He might be setting up for Gaudi. Of course, Shakespeare also a possibility. So one of those could be it. Desi can also take the free religion. But for him it's not quite as good. Because he doesn't have uh, Joan of Arc. And he has grabbed the bread and circuses already, so he doesn't need that extra religion quite as much. And then we see Lawang for three selections grab the code of laws, which I think, uh, yeah, I still like that. He still has the extra science he's gotten from the Stonehenge. He needs to spend that. Alternative would have been to leave the code of laws on three, because I don't think Desi could have just grabbed that. That would have given him corruption. Um, so either leave it on two, uh, leave it on three, or take it. Maybe even leaving it on two would have been enough. But uh, maybe Lawang didn't have the best alternatives. He could have gone for theocracy. He does have the Acropolis at some point, after all, and then upgrade two irrigations. He is here, and with this play, he only upgrades one. So there were alternative plays, but Heath says no. I have an extra MA. I have now an extra civil action, and the Acropolis is probably going to be used for age. Three, uh, H2 governments then. So I don't need the theocracy, I need the code of laws to 
to have good civilian military actions. So Desi will not push, he grabs the knights instead, upgrades one more farm. I want to see another one. No, builds another lab. Okay, so he says, okay, I have the food. I need science also as well. He still has six. Now he's producing three, so very healthy science production. Yeah, maybe I like that even more than upgrading the second irrigation. There is a point where you just have too much food. Mm. And this avoids that. Just don't don't over invest into irrigations too early on. Just once go for the philosophy, use the population you get from the irrigation um, to build extra buildings to produce more science and such. So I think I agree that uh, upgrading the last irrigation would have been maybe overkill and I like the extra philosophy from him here. With the knights in hand and with insurgency, he could also be looking at uh, strength. He has population from the food, he has rocks from Isabella. He could go for one burn circus, two knights, show a new tactic. Uh, so he could make quite the strength push. Uh, Lawang has a lot of culture production. He has extra MAs from Joan of Arc, so he probably could defend. There is, but, uh, but there's no extra copy of knights, so he will be stuck with just the warriors. So depending on the events that Desi has played, depending on his tactics in hand, he could be looking at quite the strength push. But first we see the development of civil life, which Lawang will use to probably increase pop. Yeah, then he goes for masonry. And with that finishes the Acropolis in one go. Also making his future printing press that he could go for cheaper. So that is uh, Mason is really good in some playstyles like this one. Um, the saving steps on the wonders won't matter as much for the rest of the game probably because he already has two wonders. So he only used that part once. He's probably gonna get another one at some point so it will have uses but not not very soon, he's not gonna spam some more wonders from this point on uh, because they're just very expensive to grab. Uh, but for the printing presses, making them really, really cheap, I like that. And then let's see what else he does. Grabs iron, doesn't have enough science next turn and will copy the tactic to get stronger. Yeah, I mean, he has five strength. So with the Acropolis, with Joan of Arc and the two warriors that he has, five strength. At least he's not weaker for this turn. So if Desi goes for strength push, Lawang will not be undefended. He will have some strength at least. And what does Desi, Desi do? Does he push? No, he doesn't. He do does go for monarchy. We'll develop that. Upgrade the last uh, irrigation. Increase pop. So he's not afraid of rebellion. Because at the end of the age, he's going to lose two more yellow cubes. If there is a rebellion, this could be devastating. Um, but maybe he has seen it. Maybe he has discarded it or still has it in his hand. So yeah, not afraid of that. Dis doesn't want any of the other cards, doesn't want the Universitas. I agree, I don't think that would fit here too nicely. And then next turn he can do as I said, go for one burn circus and even has the rocks and the population and the happy faces for two knights as well. Uh, of course it would have been better to do it this turn because of H1 military actions being worth a lot less than H2 military actions. Uh, but doesn't always work out that way. So Lao Hang will open the Dark Ages, but no science lost at the start of H2 here. No one will be high hit by the Dark Ages. Then breakthrough from Lao Hang, rich land. Yeah, just load up on some of these cards you still want and build an extra printing press as well as the drama. So yeah, he still can go for Gaudi as well, but it's looking more like he's, he wants to go for Shakespeare. And then, yeah, the question for Desi is how will he respond? He has the military option. There is Napoleon. There is Malena and Churchill. So even for H3, they are leaders to help with wars. Because at the moment, it's looking like he still has a position where he can do quite a lot of things. He has good rocks, good food, good science. As I said, his infrastructure is definitely there. But Lawang is getting a lot of culture. He's getting the culture lead. And he's setting up for these H2 culture leaders, which can sometimes feel really, really yeah, hard to fight against when your opponent has an easy and efficient way to generate a lot of culture in H2 with these leaders. And you are not prepared. And Desi is not. He's not prepared for any of those leaders. He could still do it. He could still prepare himself from now on. Um, but we will have to see if he manage, manages to do that. 
Also, of course, I forgot he doesn't have signs for knights and bread and circuses this turn, so he only goes for the bread and circus. And another land. Okay, yeah. Four science production now. I like that. He needs a lot of science. This also allows him to go for knights or the iron next turn. So I definitely like that. And then he's probably increasing pop here as well. Yeah. Okay, so next turn he can decide. I mean, depending on the cards that might be in the deck, most of them are actually from Lao Wang, so Desi, Desi doesn't know what might be coming. Uh, but if there are no strength events, going for knights doesn't do much, especially if he doesn't have the needed tactic for those. So having the option to go for iron next turn, upgrading all three of them, is a very good position. Lawang will show us what's in the deck. New deposits, three for him, four for Desi, so Desi has a lot of rocks now. And Desi, oh no, Lawang will actually destroy Aurora. That is brave. Grab the Kornmon, oh... That's why he does this. Okay, like I really like this move. I, did, I didn't even see it myself. Yeah, he has the Acropolis, so Kalmon is cheaper depending on the urban buildings. So he destroys Aurora, builds the printing press, and now has seven science, and that's enough, enough for the Kalmon. So he will get it this turn, and then he increases pop, <laughs> and rebuilds Aurora. I love this guy, I love this guy. He Re rebuilds the Aurora that he had to destroy first, but there was no other way to do it. He couldn't first increase pop, build the printing press and then go for Kornmon. So if he wanted the Kornmon this turn, he needed to destroy the Roria, build the extra printing press, increase pop and he wants to be stronger so he just rebuilds the uh, the Roria. Crazy moves, but I think the, the correct ones. And then he upgrades one more irrigation. Next turn he can still go for iron and then I think he's looking really really good now with the Kornmon, giving him all the civil actions. Um, Happy Faces are looking a little bit not on the brightest side, but if he indeed does go for Shakespeare, he gives him one happy face and then those dramas will as well. So the one thing he still needs is population, so the more population he can get, the better. And talking about population, Desi will lose one to the Reign of Terror, so being weaker here is starting to punish him a little bit. Perhaps the revolutionary idea. Iron upgrade 2, I would guess. He will take corruption for this. I'm not, I'm not sure if I like this grab of the revolutionary idea. I mean, both are on for science production. Is the revolutionary idea really worth two selections to grab? And then you still have to spend one selection to play it. So it's going to be three selections for four science. And that also costs him two corruption, costs him the opportunity cost of not upgrading the bronze to iron and costs him not getting the Rifleman. Rifleman here would have been very good as well, depending on, of course, on the tactic he might have drawn yet or already, but also giving it to Lao Wang, the Rifleman on one, not the best feeling. So I, yeah, first first decision here, I definitely would say I disagree with, um, taking the revolution idea instead of upgrading one more and grabbing the Rifleman, that would have been my move. And with the science production being at 4, Revolutionary Idea is not a super high value card. It is still good. For one civil action it would have been great. Even for two it's fine, it's just the cost is too high. He doesn't only have to pay two civil actions, he also has to pay the Rifleman that he doesn't get it, and two Corruption. And then as I said, the opportunity cost, if he upgrades here he would have three more rocks. So he's paying three rocks with the Corruption included, the Rifleman and three civil actions at some point for four science. Of course you get also taking it away from your opponent, but uh, I don't I don't like that. I guess he might be planning to go for a scientific method next turn, and that he needs the science from the revolutionary idea. So there's definitely reasons to go for it. I still don't think that I, they are convincing enough for those reasons. So let's see, Lao Rang will get Shakespeare here and he will go for him. He can go for iron still. Upgrade one coal, uh, one iron, upgrade the other, grab those riflemen that he got, and then probably cannons, yeah. He doesn't really even need that more extra rocks. Shakespeare plus drama and the masonry will make those dramas very cheap, only costing one rock. That's why I said he needs population, most of all. Uh, but the iron is still good, because besides going for Shakespeare, who doesn't need a lot of rocks, military still does. So, for now on, his plan is just get get some dramas up, get some pairs with Shakespeare up. He doesn't even need that to get the culture lead, but it's still gonna be good. Still gonna be good for the happy face and extra culture. And then from then on, 
just defend your culture lead with rocks that you get from the iron and such and from the civil actions. So I think at this point Lawang has a demanding lead in this game. Desu is not out, don't, don't misunderstand me, he still has a lot of rocks, good food production, Could, can next turn go for scientific method, can even go for Gaudi, I think, yeah, then he doesn't even need the revolutionary idea for scientific method. Of course he didn't know that before, but yeah, I think for Desi now, either go for Gaudi and scientific method, try to get a lot of science, win this game with impacts. I mean, there's Steve Jobs, you can get a lot of culture from science, Einstein, there is uh, internet, space flight. The biggest problem is there's also Hollywood. So Lao Hang with Shakespeare will be able to utilize that. Um, but Gaudi will also give culture production, he would be at 5 and doesn't cost that much. He could still go for military and Gaudi. So Desi has a way to, has to find a way to punish Lao Hang now. And it's gonna be hard, it's definitely gonna be hard. Developed territory, Lao Hang actually able to win it. That has to be the army though, right? Desi, I mean Lao Hang has drawn a lot of cards. So he only has to send one warrior. This is great from this is really great. Desi has also drawn a couple of cards. He probably was willing to send three rocks, so two colonization from that, one warrior, maybe one h1 and two h2 at uh, one h2 card. Yep, first colony. Um often means that the one guy who's, who's drawn more uh, colonization cards just wins it. If there's more of them, more colonies, then things like Isabella really kick in. But none of them have colonization force and he probably wasn't willing to send six rocks for that colony. That would have just been a little bit too much. So as he will go for Gaudi, I like that. We'll go for journalism instead of the scientific method. We'll get out of corruption. Uh, let's think about this. So he goes for journalism instead. Um, yeah, he will get more culture from that, of course. But I think at this point, I don't know if I like the journalism more than the scientific method. Because with the scientific method, he could have gone for a, this turn. He doesn't have that much population as well. Um, so if he increases pop next turn, it will be unhappy. It's not like he has so much free population to put in these jaw analysms. It would be much easier to upgrade the scientific methods from those already existing philosophies. And it's not like Gaudi plus journalism can keep up with Shakespeare. So uh, yeah, not not agreeing with the journalism too much. It's still okay. Uh, I can understand wanting to utilize Gaudi in a good way. He's going to be producing four culture, which is really nice. Um, but I just think it's it's not going to be enough anyway. So yeah, you can keep the culture dis uh, culture difference in check a little bit, but it's already really big and it's going to get even even crazier with Shakespeare. Mm. And we we're going to find out how it works out. But I would have liked to to see the scientific method more because you already have three uh, three philosophies. Lawang will go for navigation here. Okay, increases pop. Does he also go Shakespeare? No, he goes for another printing press. So this guy likes his printing presses. I mean, yeah, thanks to the developed territory that he got, he got extra yellow cube. So he has not as big problems with uh, with his yellow bank with happy faces. And then next turn he can probably go for Shakespeare and there he gets one happy face plus the drama that he's probably gonna build. I mean, printing presses for two rocks are just really, really efficient. I just would have maybe liked to see the drama this turn. Would make the printing presses even cheaper. They would be at zero rocks then, so in the long term he could still build them. But this is also fine. We'll upgrade the next iron, grab cavalrymen. So he has riflemen, cannons, cavalrymen. I like his position. I like grabbing those cavalrymen. Um, because, yeah, he doesn't have any strength. The big way for Lawang to lose this would be if he's left without any tactics, without any strength potential. And then Desi would have that and could go for strength. But how it's looking here, it's the opposite way. Desi also has no tactic, no military tech researched. Uh, and he doesn't have any in hand besides the knights. So Lawang has way better military potential at this point. The only thing Desi has is more rocks. So yeah, still looking very good for Lawang. Not sure why he grabs team sports, maybe nothing else to do really. Um, but he probably doesn't need it with Shakespeare and dramas. 
inhabited, so the navigation from Laohang will work out for him really nicely. And he gets the inhabited as well for just one right. I think it was looking really good before for Laohang, but now it's just looking insanely strong. As I said, what he needed most with Shakespeare is extra population, not rocks. He needed more population and he just got that from these two colonies. Now he can spam as many dramas as he wants to and still has enough uh, population to build military as well. Desi grabs the cannons for two here, goes for Gaudi, develops journalism and then builds C. C now has to destroy one Bronze because he doesn't have the population to build a journalism normally. Because if he increases pop that will be unhappy. If the journalism here was a scientific method instead he could have upgraded two of them. Like this is probably not gonna get out of corruption. So yeah, I, I see this uh, as a little bit foreseeable. Like, not only in hindsight it, it wasn't good to go for the journalism, I pointed it out when, when he grabbed it. The population issue, he didn't really, maybe didn't consider it or maybe thought he would have more time to... He has, he has food, so maybe thought, okay, I have food, I have enough population to put into journalisms. But having to destroy one of your buildings here, when you should have enough population, is just not a, that good of a sign. Uh, so I, again, I would have liked the scientific methods more. Yeah, you would not be do not be producing aid culture. He has caught up now, but with Lawang seeing this, that Desi has spent eight rocks on the journalism and then even two into the corruption, he has population. He can just go Shakespeare and then he's gonna go up to twenty culture really really fast. So it's not gonna be enough. And scientific methods would have kept the military threat up. Even though that is also faltering the military threat because Lao Wang has all of those uh, military attacks, he is even stronger, will reveal the Crusades, so making that culture difference even bigger. And then I'm pretty convinced we're gonna see Shakespeare this turn. First we see the strategy, then Shakespeare, drama, wave, yeah, wave. Lao Wang gets all the tools, look at his hand, look at his civilization, building culture with Shakespeare, and then look at his, look at his hand. You couldn't ask for more. Had have all the H2 military attacks, have wave and strategy. Yeah, nothing else you could ask for here. We'll develop one cannon and build one perhaps. Yeah, there might be colonies. Um, so you want to have some units, you get stronger than your opponent again, and you don't need more dramas. The culture lead 54 to 22, and you're outproducing your opponent in culture. Not not by much. Desi has caught up in the culture production with uh, with Gaudi and that journalism, but Lawang doesn't need to overtake him in culture, he just needs to keep ahead. And with this play he seems like he will be able to do so. Desi can open the politics of strength, at least it's only h2 cards here, so of course Lawang will draw 5 cards, Desi will draw none at the end of this turn, so at least that means he can spend his military actions here and have no downside from that and Laowang only gets h2 deck, uh, h2 military cards with him building cannons I mean the chance is pretty high that he has already drawn a tactic but of course I, I don't want to sugarcoat it it's still good that uh, or still bad for Desi that Laohang now even gets more card draw from h2 Desi will go for justice system yeah I like that he needs more civil actions he's been struggling with that a little bit then he gets frugality, increase pop, builds one, one more grand circus for the epiphases, increase pop again. Doesn't use this opportunity where he could have spent military actions um, in H2, where they don't even draw cards. So that will mean if he builds military, it will be in H3. But maybe, I mean, is Laowang gonna go for more military? Does Desi even need to catch up in strength? Or should he just try and concentrate on getting more culture production? It's just gonna be so hard to overtake Low One. Maybe Desi can get the architecture, that would be a great build a great tech for him. Get the architecture, build these journalisms cheaper, maybe even upgrade to computers later. There is still space flight, there is still Einstein and uh, Steve Jobs. So yeah, there's still things Desi can do. And then maybe it's the correct move to just not go for military, but I'm not sure. H3 will start by Desi losing his knights, so he only has cannons. 
Lawan will open the strategic, so Lawan will win this one as well. Great colony game from Lawan as well, I have to say it. He got all of these tech, uh, all of these territories pretty cheap, while probably the first two, or at least one of the first two, probably was played by Desi, uh, so that this navigation already paying for itself, getting immediately four or five cards from uh, the strategic territory. 5H3 cards. Look at his hand. He has so many military cards. Uh, that is definitely a good sign as well. Drawing impacts, drawing tactics if he hasn't had those yet. And then let's see what else he does. Increases pop. Builds a drama. Doesn't even rebuild the military, but destroys a philosophy. And then he, okay, he will build that extra cannon. And then grabs breakthrough and patriotism. Yeah, break patriotism, pretty good. Uh, doesn't really need efficient upgrades. As I said, for, for culture he doesn't need any extra rocks, just these dramas. Maybe at a later point he wants to upgrade to multimedia, then the efficient upgrades would be great. Uh, but at this point he doesn't even need that too much. He gets two more dramas, they, he's gonna go over 20 culture production. That should be enough for now. Now he's up to 15, so almost doubling that of Desi once again, who will probably try to keep up. He could also decide to build cannons, but then, as I said, he has to spend H3 military actions and not going to be drawing H3 cards. Uh, the architecture is still there, though, so I think he should go for architecture, build some more journalisms, and he does that, so like that. Grabs Opera as well. Okay, Opera also works really good. He needs heavy faces, this works with Gaudi, so he has all the buildings. Uh, so five culture from Gaudi is definitely not bad. The biggest difference between Gaudi and Shakespeare now is though that Lawan gets his dramas for one and Desi still has to pay uh, six rocks for operas and journalisms. He did save a lot of science with Gaudi, so Gaudi is doing good work. Don't don't uh, misunderstand me. He's just just not as efficient as Shakespeare is in this case. Efficient upgrade for Desi as well. Maybe he can upgrade, yeah, as I said, computers or even team sports, depending on which leader he will get. Prosperity, five uh, five food for Lawang and six for Desi. So Desi has a lot of population now as well. 15 food, there is also the Red Cross, so keep that in mind. He has 15 food, the Red Cross is in, and he has architecture. And frugality even in hand as well. So he has enough population. So next turn, theoretically, he can build another journalism and another opera, giving him five more culture production. The only problem is Lawang also had, has gotten extra food, so he can build another drama if he wants to. Even <laughs> two of them. Destroys a religion, goes for two more dramas, 22 culture production. Yeah, will develop this strategy as well. Grab the breakthrough and the engineering genius. So yeah, he has uh, each of, uh, from each yellow type, of technology he has one. He has 13 strength to five. So at this point, at some point, Desi probably has to be concerned about military as well. He only has three MAs. Lawang has patriotism and a lot of MAs, as well as with tools he needs for war. So there could be a surprise war from Lawang. I think that should be the play from Lawang, depending, of course, again on his card draw. Just go for military. Here you have you have your culture engine. You've built it super cheap. Now you have a lot of rocks. Just go for military. Desi can't go for military and culture buildings because he doesn't have as many rocks or enough rocks for all of that. Uh, but let's see what uh, what Desi will be able to do here. Does he push? No, he doesn't. He will increase pop, build a journalism, grab communism, okay, grab endowment. Yeah, that's a good card. Can help him catch up. And he doesn't build another one. That's a little bit interesting. He could have decided to build another journalism perhaps to get more science. Maybe next turn even go for Einstein um, with that 10 science production. Also doesn't grab space flight, doesn't grab internet. Internet is really good for him at this point. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him go for that. But the same is true for Lao Wang, who also has the masonry, so it might come in handy. And yeah, as I said, the masonry hasn't provided him extra civil actions after the Acropolis yet, but it can still come in handy for internet, for Red Cross and such. And it has given him a lot of discounts on all of these buildings. So masonry was definitely very important. I think it has saved at least six rocks for the pre presses and dramas. So it is definitely a good tech, or has been a good tech for him this game. 
Lawang, will he push? He probably should, yes, but not an impact on H2 card. Will oh, with the international negotiations. Yeah, Lawang is still stronger. He's been stronger this whole game for very little cost, but he's winning all of the strength events. So he can decide what he wants to steal, and it's gonna be Fu, no, science, yeah. 12 science for Lawang now, 12 for Desi, so he lost 3 science here. Not the biggest deal for him, but for Lawang, getting the extra science is definitely nice. He will grab that internet and he'll finish it this turn. Yeah, for 24. So he takes that away from Desi, goes for himself. 24 culture. Yeah, he's not afraid. He is stronger. He has no, nothing else to really build. He has built all the printing presses and dramas he could. He doesn't really want to upgrade them, or he can't at the moment. So just build wonders. Alternative would have been military. Um, but military needs a payoff. If Desi just ignores it, goes for more culture, military doesn't produce culture, wonders do. And Lawang doesn't have to be afraid of military from Desi. He's miles away from anything scary. He has no techs, he would need cannons, maybe only cannons if he has fortifications, but then probably air forces and military theory. So yeah, Lawang can easily spend all of his rocks in the internet. So. Very good move by him, I think. Good way to find find a thing to do. He didn't have that much else to do if he didn't go for this. Desi goes for civil service when he already adjusts the system. Uh, but why? Is there something like his hand is full or something, but he could just play in Doman. I, I don't like it that much. I mean, maybe Lawang would have gone for it, but Lawang wants to go for democracy, so... Desi kind of has to deny democracy. If Lawang gets democracy for 9 culture, he can then build another pair of printing presses and drama. So I don't understand the... Yeah, he, had, he grabs democracy, but he won't be able to go for it next turn because he went for the civil service. Couldn't he just play it endowment, grab democracy, play revolutionary idea? He has enough cards he can just play here at the moment. And then he will build another opera. So 17 culture production from him versus 22 of the lead. The lead from Lawang is just too big. And I don't, again, I don't agree with the civil service here. It doesn't really do that much for me. I one more civil action, but if he had saved this 10 signs for the civil service, he could go for democracy next turn. Like this, he can't. And you're not, you're not really denying it from Lawang too much. He also has code of law, so maybe he would have gone for the civil service. But it's not a big upgrade when you already have the Code of Laws. He doesn't have that much science, Lawang. If he spends 10 science on just an extra, um, civil, uh, on an extra civil action plus a couple of blue cubes, that's fine if he wants to spend his science that way. Desi could have, as I said, used endowment. Could have even increased population and built another journalism. This even means that Red Cross will be gone next turn. That is even one more reason why I don't like this. I mean, yeah, maybe he can't go for it, he doesn't have that much food. But I just don't see a reason to go for it, to be honest. So, Lawang, what will he do? He has been denied H3 technologies thus far. And he wins another colony, Autonomous, for another cannon. And then he grabs, he gets, he gets the Hollywood. So Desi won't have a wonder, he missed out on the Red Cross just now. He didn't take the early space flight. Lawang did take the internet. And Lawang now also gets the Hollywood. So a little bit unfortunate for Desi that it comes out during Lawang's turn. Um, maybe not game deciding, but definitely very good for Lawang that it comes out here. He has the civil agents to grab it, that's also important. Um, and then he can prepare to finish that. He will first of all build a cannon, grab patriotism. He will have corruption. Um, but the game is still long enough that he still will be able to finish that Hollywood. Desi plays his first impact. Refugees. There have been a lot of punishing strength events. And Lawang is getting all of that for almost no population dedicated to military. Uh, just the cannon, but most of the strength comes from strategy, navigation, Acropolis, and then the strategic territory. So strength, the strength game is basically non-existent in this game, but it's still was in huge favor for Lawang, who was able to get a lot out of that. 
Crusades, uh, now the refugees, one of the biggest ones, politics of strength, and the international negotiations. So Desi, by ignoring military, has given Lao Wang an easy way to punish him with strength events. Uh, I'm not saying it's wrong from Desi, sometimes, I mean, if he also had to invest into military, he couldn't keep up with the culture production. Um, but it's just really, really good play by Lao Wang, seeing, preparing, yeah, it mostly probably comes down to him preparing to go for printing presses early on, and then with Shakespeare. Um, and as I said, one of the biggest factors was him winning the developed and inhabited territory, giving him enough population to go for these crazy amount of pairs. Uh, so, but what will Desi do? He destroys a warrior, grabs reserves. See, now if he had, yeah, I, know, I know I'm repeating myself, but if he hadn't gone for that civil service, he would go democracy now, get more civil actions, which he really needs, and get more culture production. But he will go for this for now, efficient upgrade. He has a lot of these efficient upgrades. I don't know what he really wants to go for with those. Doesn't grab computer, doesn't grab multimedia. Lawan opens the arms industry. That means four rocks for him and only two for Desi. And then he will go for fundamentalism just to be able to build more pairs. Builds one extra drama, increase pop, another printing press, 27 culture production with just these pairs with Shakespeare. Will develop and show his tactic, the mechanized army. He's actually at 19 strength with just the cannon. Not bad, not bad. I mean, there's no way that Desi can go for war or anything, but Lao Wang could either go for it himself or he's just signaling, okay, forget about it, my friend. Forget about it, you won't be able to punish me with military at all. I have a tactic, I have the necessary tools. And now Desi, what can he do? He can build more of these uh, buildings. He can go for democracy as well. National pride, five more culture on top of what Lao Wang already has. And then Desi can go for democracy, goes for Pierre de Coubertin. He doesn't actually give more, much more culture production. At the moment he gives less culture production than Gaudi would have. But of course with the Olympic Games as well, Pierre will be worth it. Grabs urban growth and revolutionary idea. Destroys his last warrior, builds another drama uh, or opera and another journalism. So he is at 27 culture. Let's not downplay this guys 27 culture production is insanely high uh, but Lawang has the same and he spent a total of five rocks i mean i know he spent a little bit more but the building at the moment are worth five rocks and desi's uh, like more like 50. i mean it's still uh, heads up for the uh for the effort from desi going for all of these journalisms and operas going up to 27 culture production not bad but not enough. It's not going to be enough. I think at this point it can be pretty clear as we enter into H4 any moment. Here it is, H4. Lawang will lose Shakespeare, so his internet, uh, his uh, Hollywood will be a lot less efficient. But it's still going to be an internet with uh, five pairs. But if architecture is really good for uh, Desi, 10 to 16, not bad. Then engineering from Lawang, and then he will go for Churchill for the extra free culture, finish the Hollywood for 30 still. So with Shakespeare that would have been pretty crazy, 50 I believe, because he would be producing 10 more, so 50 with Shakespeare would, uh, would have been. A 30 still is really really good, and then he can Go for one more warrior. I guess there's harmony. Yeah, this definitely looks like harmony. Desi has no military, so his harmony is in shambles. Laon now uh, has three in each at least. We'll copy a tactic to get 22 strength. Yeah, and we'll end before the impacts on 280 culture. That is not bad. I mean, Shakespeare plus pairs and the internet and Hollywood is pretty crazy. Five, five pairs with Shakespeare and internet and Hollywood. I have to say it again, guys. That is not something you see every game. Um, but Lawang was able to pull it off. Now Desi can declare the Olympic Games. Open the input of Wonders, 14 to 5. L Desi has not gotten any Wonders besides his library. And then he can go for Mac Egg. So here's some impacts. Let's take a look at the impacts. Two from each. 
So it's not going to be enough to overtake Lawang, but he can actually increases harmony as well, destroy a lot of other things. And then his harmony will be okay as well. So yeah, how will it end? 100 culture lead for Lawang before the impacts, and then plus strength is 10 for him. We have harmony as we imagine 12 to 12, and then probably 2 from Desi, technology 8 to 16, and happiness 12 to 16. So yeah, pretty clear cut here in the end. 101 culture lead for Lawang, who has shown us uh, five pairs with Shakespeare, which is uh, awesome to see when it happens. And he was, yeah, stronger the whole game. As I said, Desi tried to catch up with culture, with Gaudi, uh, and it didn't work out. So I can't fault him for for that. Uh, he tried his uh, tried his best. Um, I probably would have tried another way because it just feels so hard. Playing against someone who has Shakespeare and printing press and drama, as well as the Mason, making these cost nothing, it's just really, really hard to play against um, when your opponent prepares for that so nicely. And Desi, the only chance you really have against something like that is probably either insane infrastructure so that the, in the end you can outproduce your opponent and build I mean he has even done that he has built these movies journalisms and such um, but yeah that wasn't enough you need even more than this you need wonders um, but in easy in other way to beat him is military is strength but as he didn't have the tools didn't uh, didn't go for the tools um, I'm not saying that I would have won from the position in H2 that he had uh, with my idea of going for um, going for scientific methods instead. I still would have liked that approach. The other approach with journalism also had positives, um, but personally, I would have tried it with scientific methods probably. But of course, we can't uh, can't say how that would have turned out. So yeah, well played by Loang once again, showing why he is one of the best players in the world going up and winning this game with an insane amount of culture 336 um, so congrats to him and let's take a look at their current group so as you see we are i'm as of time recording this in the first batch of games and here in group six we see that Lawang now is on top with two points so he only has finished this one game uh, desi has finished two already as we just saw one loss and one win He's uh, so he's also on two points because he won the game against the Rebels apparently. Um, so very early still to call. Very good position for Luang, winning the first game and especially winning a game versus Desi, who's also won a game. Uh, so that uh, is better than against someone who has not won a game yet, if we consider his standings in the league. Um, so yeah, well done by Luang, winning this uh, this quite convincing game. And gonna be exciting to see who will make it here from this group. Um, I would definitely say Lawang is the favorite here, but the second player, or even Lawang, has to beat the others now. Has to beat Rebels, Pontius, Pilatus, and Megumi, or at least two of them. Mostly three wins is, is what you need to be comfortable. Uh, so that will be exciting to see, and of course, who will make the second position. Desi, he's definitely played well, so he's definitely a contender for it. Has also beaten Rebels, as I said. Um, so at some point we're gonna come down, uh, come back to this group and see how it will have turned out. Uh, but this is all for the video today. So thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and see you next time.